It's very easy to look out into the world and think that things are not going in a very good direction for us. Everyone is choosing sides and being pitted against each other and pitting themselves against each other in order for the domination and thinking of who's right. But it shouldn't be a question of who's right. It should be a question of what's right, what's good, what's true. When we are able to tap into that, when we're able to ask that question and step outside of our pre-existing belief system, step outside of what we used to think was actually the highest truth and consider that for a moment, we just, we don't know all that we don't know. And perhaps if we were able to do that for even just a moment, we might find that we're actually not all so different after all. Separation from each other, from ourselves, even within our minds, between the different hemispheres of our brain or the disconnection between the brain and the heart only ultimately leads to further suffering. Separation yields fear, yields hate, and we end up pointing the finger outwardly at everything else that's wrong in the world instead of realizing that if we were to point the finger inside, not only would we see the source of our suffering, but we would also see a great source of light. We would see that light as a source of love, or we might find love and therein experience it as a source of light. And the more that we take the time to nurture that light, become secure in it and offer it out into the world, the more luminous this whole world becomes. You see, that light is within us, not just for ourselves, but to be shared with others. Because when we do share authentically that which is within us, we lighten someone else's day. And in doing so, we lighten our own. It's a very good idea to practice love. It's a very good idea to practice meditation because each time that we sit to meditate, we calm ourselves and create a more harmonious internal vibrational rhythm. In calming ourselves, we learn to embody the light of our soul. And in embodying the light of our soul, we are more capable of supporting and serving the rest of humankind. And as we learn to be in service, peace and prosperity are naturally created as an outcome. And so this message today is just a short video to remind all of us to breathe, to feel love in our hearts, to not forget who we are, or to seek to remember if we have. Everything is going to be okay. No matter what the politicians tell you, no matter what impending doom it looks like we're all facing, because certainly many more calamities, many more challenges in the world and society in our personal lives will come to pass. There's no question, but this is a stage of passing through that we must go through. And if we have the strength and stability of the light of our hearts, then when things do become chaotic, we can remain strong through it and be a source of light and strength for others. This is what it's going to take. And the more that we do this, the easier it's going to be for everyone. So if this message resonated with you, please share it with someone you love or pass it on in a way that's meaningful to you. In closing, I want to invite you to come and attend our upcoming live event, the renewal of a brand new 12D Shield meditation experience. We're going to be going live in Spirit Mysteries to host this in just one week. But if you're watching this video after the event date, you can still use the same link and get access to the recording. Thank you so very much for watching. And I do wish you an absolutely amazing day.